Hello, this is Dennis Johnson, and today's basic exercise is entitled Five Stroke Rolls 4 2 4. A five Stroke Roll is basically a two rights and two lefts followed by a right, or two lefts and two rights followed by a left. So we've got basically all right, right handed and left handed. What I've done uh, for the A and the B section here is basically uh, created a check pattern of sixteenths. We've got four sets of sixteenths and four five stroke rows on the beat. We do that twice and then we do a two pattern. We do that twice. And then we go back to the four, hence the term four two four. And then we do the basic upbeat five stroke roll, which is same basic stroke, but you're starting with a tap. Okay, so I thought this exercise would be good, especially for the uh, beginners and less experienced players. More experienced players have already played uh, the 16 30 second transitions, the check patterns of all of the different permutations, but uh, this is just basic basic, basic, on the beat, off the beat, five stroke rolls. Uh, lots of music in today's uh, marching percussion or concert percussion contains five stroke rolls. Just a very basic rudiment. Uh, it's either gonna be on the beat or off the beat. So I've taken it to its base level and just created a four, two, four pattern. So I'm gonna play letter A straight into letter B and put the music up so you can see it. And I think we're gonna do this at about 110. All right, so here's letter A straight into B. Okay, so that's five stroke rolls, four, two, four. Uh, what we're trying to do with this uh, for our purposes is to stay away from any accent, so we don't want to go. Because what that's going to do is distort the attack of the five stroke. And you don't want to do this either. On the upbeat, you don't want to go. Keep everything at one height and add accents as music as the music requires. Of course, if your music calls for an accent, play it. But uh, for, the, for our purposes today on this exercise, just keep everything at one height. All right, so now I'm going to take the music down so you can see what the hands are doing. Basically, I mean, everything is... All right, just basic, basic, basic. And everything, everything is sticked using the uh, natural sticking system, which is right followed by a left. Except for letter B, because you've got a right followed by a right, because the roll starts with a right. Uh, once you're able to play these nice and solid, go back and start with the left hand, and that'll strengthen your left hand. Unless you're left-handed, and your weak hand is your right hand, and the first time through this will actually strengthen your right. But anyway, so here's A straight into B. And what I find with young players is that if they're right-handed, the left hand, when you're playing the five-stroke roll, is going to be held way down and probably to a point where we're actually buzzing the roll. And the right hand is up, sort of like that. So what you want to do is strengthen that left hand. 
and make sure that you're playing all the strokes at the same height. And starting with the left will help that. If you can do that. This exercise also helps with a double beat when you're actually playing. So that your right and your left hand sound the same. So until next time, these are five stroke rolls. Practice these and I'll be back with you with another exercise later on. And until next time, keep on drumming.